today we are making a grape escape to northern Sonoma County and giving you a picture perfect pairing the marrying of art and wine right when I walked in to your tasting room I the first thing I said was wow this is so beautiful in here uh, you really take art and wine pairing to the next level let's talk a little bit about the art and wine pairings that we have going on in northern Sonoma County well, I'm very passionate about about the, the wines that we produce you know, my feeling about wine is that it is an art form. So together with the art collection, they go very well together. We are uh, featuring a local Sonoma artist named Colin Lambert, who does these lovely, very beautiful figurative sculptures. I love figurative arts, and as you can tell from the art collection that we have, we think it's a very nice match for what we're doing here. Speaking of figures, I've seen a lot of figures in here, specifically some female figures. The piece on the wall is a piece by Nathan Oliveira, who's one of the great uh, contemporary artists. Unfortunately, Nathan died the month before we bottled the wine, so we never got a chance to uh, to taste the wine. With some of the art that I've collected over the years, I have uh, gotten the copyright permission to produce as part of a wine label. So if you pick up a bottle of that cab, you're going to get art in the bottle and art on the bottle. That's right. We're deep into the art. <laughs> We're deep into the art for sure. Uh, Armin, why do you think art and wine kind of go so well together? We really believe that, that's, that making really refined uh, wine is an art form. When we produce wines, we produce, if we do a full production, we do about 17, 1800 cases a year. So at that level, everything is artisanal and handcrafted. So very much akin to art. To me, uh, um, you know, making wine is all about making art. The wines age really beautifully, so we really are patient with holding on to our inventory and the resulting wine is this gorgeous aged Zinfandel, which is really quite beautiful layers on layers of fruit, a high level of acidity, to be able to be matched with a variety of food. Uh, so for example, at Le Bernardin in New York City, they pair uh, our uh, Zinfandel with fish dishes. See, all rules are off. None of this, you know, white with fish, red with meat, huh? Do whatever you want. That's what I say. <laughs> That's exactly so. And when uh, folks actually come to the tasting room, we I take them through a tasting of the wines in the order that we produced uh, the wines. So I start with the Zinfandel, I take him to the Viognier, which was our second wine, and we go to the Cabernet, which was our third wine. So they get a historical perspective of where we started from. So I do believe in breaking some of the rules, but still st sticking to some levels of tradition. Yeah, I would definitely raise my glass to breaking the rules, huh? Cheers. Cheers. Our love for art and wine continues here at Fieldstone Winery. This is a fantastic opportunity for us. Every year we participate, and this year we were uh, able to get two artists in our facility. We have both Dennis Bolt and Stacy Lowe. Dennis doing aluminum art and Stacy Lowe doing some of her fantastic um, sterling jewelry. You guys have a rich history here. Why don't you give us a little background on the winery, Jason? Well, the uh, winery was established in 1976 by Wallace Johnson. He was the mayor of Berkeley in the mid-60s. Wally, unfortunately, passed away three years after he established the winery, so his daughter, Katrina, and her husband, John Staten, were the only two interested uh, siblings that wanted to carry on the family legacy. You guys have a really neat history as far as the vines go. You have some vines oh, almost 120 years old. That is correct. Our Petite Syrah is 118 years old. It's one of the oldest Petite Syrah vines in the world still producing. Uh, we're getting about five tons per acre. Do you think 118 year old vines taste better than younger vines? Absolutely. You get more depth and character and flavor and color out of these vines. That's what I keep telling people. The older I get, the more depth and character I get, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and you guys have another really neat claim to fame here. If anyone remembers those Bartles and James commercials, I know I do. For three years they were on the property doing the commercials up on our own farmhouse. One of the commercials actually has our uh, rosé of Petite Syrah in, in the uh, wine cooler glass. And then you guys have something really cool that I noticed when I came in here. You have a bottle of Stanford wine. What's that all about? We do. We do some custom etched bottles for some of the college uh, teams and they're very popular here. Uh, the Stanford is, of course, one of our most popular. So do you have to go have gone to Stanford in order to drink the wine? Absolutely not. Do you feel smarter when you drink it? I think so. <laughs> I gotta get myself a bottle of that ASAP. Speaking of feeling smarter, I'm gonna feel a lot smarter if I try some of this wine. I love our Petite Syrah because it shows that depth and character and flavor. I think it's one of those kinds of wines that once you take a sip, you're hooked. I'm hooked. <laughs> what would you uh, pair Petite Syrah with? Some people are scared of it. It's a hard wine to pair sometimes because they're so big, but uh, it's great with barbecued foods. Uh, it's excellent with lamb. Lamb goes really well with Petite Syrah, and you know what else goes really well with Petite Syrah? A little bit of art. 
Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers.